thank you guys so much for coming right back to my channel i am so happy that people are viewing my videos and finding them interesting um i've gotten some really good questions regarding being a medical assistant and I truly want to do some pros and cons regarding being a medical assistant. I've also gotten great advice in regards to the migraines. I'm so thankful for that. And um, yeah, so thanks for coming right back. And I hope you guys enjoy this content. Today, I'm going to be sharing what is in my medical assistant bag. <laughs> now, look, I carry a lot of junk, not only to school, but just on a daily basis. In my purse i carry a lot of things and i use them all let's start first with what kind of bag this is this is a dooney and burke bag they're so so sturdy that's the yes they're sturdy that is the um that's the word i want to use because i can pack and pack and pack a dooney just like i can pack a louis and it doesn't rip on me i've had I've had bags where they rip on me because were, they weren't like expensive bags. I'm not saying go out there and buy a Dooney or a Louie, but um, it is nice to invest on a nice sturdy bag when you like to carry a lot of things. And just a tip, you can go to TJ Maxx, you can go to Ross or Marshalls, and sometimes they have really nice Dooney and Burke bags there. So this one, I got it about, I want to say seven years ago, my husband gifted this one to me and um i use it when i travel i use it for my work i use it a lot it's really sturdy it's it's about seven years old and it still looks brand spanking new so let's get started i'm gonna start with the side pockets so the first thing that i come across is my charger i always have to have a charger normally i have a little bag with chargers and my battery packs but they're all charging right now. So just imagine I pulled out this pink bag <laughs> and in it is my batteries and my um, charger connections. I also have my Beats by Dre because I like to listen to music while I'm at work or also during lunchtime, I have to listen to a lecture or edit a video or whatever. And I don't want you know everybody to hear me. So I have these going on. The reason why I invested in these it's because I have a very small ear. They they don't hold anything. Like, no kind of earpiece is good for me. It, it's just too small. My ear is tiny. So, um, they have to be either over the head ones or these, the Dre Beats. It doesn't have to be these necessarily, but the Dre Beats are so easy to manipulate. So, that's why I invested in these. They are a little pricey, but they're worth it. I carry wet ones all the time, you guys. I'm a germaphobe. I like to wash my hands a lot. <laughs> if I'm not somewhere where I can wash my hands a lot, I these are always in my purse. They're everywhere I go. They're in the truck. They're everywhere because, hi, my name is Linda and I'm a germaphobe. I also have lotion. I always carry lotion in my bag as well. Any other bag, but this bag, I'm using the Cactus Blossom by ba um, Bath and Body Works. It smells so good. It smells really good. I also have the mist to it. And I like to wear mist versus perfume to work because this is not as strong and it actually fades off throughout your day. So it doesn't offend anybody, you know? Um, I also have the four main pins that I use for work. I use a pencil, I use a pink pen and a black pen. And lastly, this is just a, a cheapy pen from like a um, a medical imaging center that we use and they gave us a whole bunch. So they're really good pens, but I purposely use this one for patients. If they need to sign something, if they need to write anything, this is the one I hand them so they can use. I don't give them my good pens because it's just so easy to forget. And I love these pens and two, because again, I'm a germaphobe, so I clean these pens all the time. Um, That's on one side. The other side carries my my glasses because I'm basically blind. I'm a blind bat. <laughs> so maybe I should put them on, huh? Hmm. Hello. Hello. So that's just the pouch to it. I also have my pulse oximeter because we use this at work a lot. I have a pink one. Yes, it's super cute. I know. 104. That is normal for me, to be quite honest. I'm surprised it's not 120 instead. 
So that's my pulse oximeter. I'm gonna take my glasses off, you guys. Can't deal today. My head kind of hurts, and anything on my head is just making it worse. I always, always, always carry a water jug. Um, I'm using my Yeti. This one was a gift from my friend Baby Jesus. We call him Baby Jesus because he was the youngest of the whole crew. So I don't know. I just started calling him Baby Jesus, and everybody called him Baby Jesus afterwards. But whenever I left that job, he um, placed this cup. He knew I wanted this cup. So I was going to buy it with my employee discount, right? And that day that I was going to leave. So he took it upon himself to buy it for me. And he left it on my desk. And it just had a really nice, sweet note. So I appreciate my coworkers so much. Like I live, I go to jobs sometimes. And without even trying, I just make good friends. And I really appreciate him for that. That was a really nice gesture. So my Yeti comes with me everywhere. I drink about three to four of these a day while I'm at work. That's not even counting the water that I do drink at home. We drink a lot of water here in this household. I always have something to snack on. This time I have a or an orange, but sometimes I'll have a granola bar or something because if I'm on the bus and I get hungry, I'll get a headache, a hunger headache, and then that head hunger headache turns into a regular headache. And then that turns into a migraine. Like, it's a process, you guys. So I have to have something to snack on if I ever get a hunger headache. Next is the thousand amount of pills I take for my thousand amount of diagnosis. <laughs> I also have this bag. This bag carries my toothbrush, my um, toothpaste, my portable toothbrush. It carries a small um, deodorant. You ain't trying to offend nobody, girl. I do have a moisturizer, lip moisturizer. I have a red lippy by e.l.f. Just in case. This is Carmex. This always stays in the pocket of my scrubs. One of these because you never know when you need it. And then my Canada mirror that my other friend from my last job gave me. She went on a cruise and she came back and get, gave us goodies. So that was so sweet. I use that. I always carry my Louis um, wristlet only because I sometimes when I go to lunch, I don't want to carry all the, you know, my entire big bag. I'll just grab this. It has my credit card, my driver's license and whatnot. And that's all I take with me along with my computer i carry my computer because i'm going to school as many know so while i am on um break or whether i'm on in lunch break and my i get a whole hour so i always do school work so i eat about i don't know i eat in about 15 minutes and then i have the rest of the 45 minutes to do my school work this is my laptop. I am obsessed with putting stickers on it. I got it from my friend Danny. I saw his that had a thousand stickers on it. I was like, oh my God, what is that? I like it. I want to do that to mine. So I did. <laughs> but I did it on the cover. I didn't do it on my actual laptop because I'm a freak of nature like that. And I don't know if I want to cover my actual laptop with them, which I don't know which. Um, I don't know which laptop this is. The husband is the one that bought it for me. He's the one that's like real techie. But I do know it's a really good laptop. It's an Apple. And um, I love it. There's, I love this. I wish he would do a review on all the techie stuff he gives me. Um, I also have my agenda. I love to do an agenda at every single job that I'm in. I also do one for my personal finances. I do one for our family study type of things when we're able to do um, family activities with my husband and myself. So this one is the one I use for work. And it was also gifted by one of my friends as a congratulations starting school again, starting a new job. And they gifted me this, so I love it. It's pink. Everybody knows I'm obsessed with pink. So yeah, I also have my stethoscope case and I do use the Littman three millimeter stethoscope. It's really pretty. It's a pink color. And um, in, the, in the actual case, I do keep a highlighter and a permanent marker because we do use those a lot. We drug test. So the permanent marker is to mark all the drug test containers 
and then the highlighter we highlight all the time during our job as a medical assistant so i keep it just in case i need it which i do end up using it almost every single day and then last but not least hanging from my my bag is my keys i also have a sanitizer i have the spray for the killer and <laughs> i have a tile just in case i lose them my key fob for the front of the building my um mail keys and my house key i keep those on the on the hook of the um see i, I keep them on the hook of, of the purse just because you never know when i'm gonna need to use this um i don't know if you guys know but i i, I also take the bus sometimes my husband cannot always go pick me up we do have our own car we have three cars actually but they are all in houston we still haven't gone to go get one um so i'm carless here but it's okay because the city is actually very um open to pedestrians like they're pedestrian friendly so the transit is friendly it's not it's not a crazy experience um i do have a bike sometimes i'll bike somewhere they're so, here in colorado and denver specifically there's they're all about bikes and skateboards and walking and whatnot so i'm actually glad and that's why it doesn't bother me that sometimes i take the transit and whenever bj can't pick me up that's what i have to take the bus so just in case the killer comes near me okay anywho i hope you guys really enjoyed my video that is everything i have in my medical assistant bag show me what you guys have let me know if there's anything i should add to my bag perhaps something that you guys have used and it works great for you i am open to suggestions um thank you guys for watching my video and see you next time bye